All right, so prop wash performance is the number one thing people look at for good flight performance. I've noticed a lot that if a quad produces good prop wash performance, folks will basically associate that with good flight performance overall. So they won't be looking at throbbles or bounce back as much, but if it has good prop wash, that's a big key metric. So today we're gonna to talk about how you can increase your prop wash performance simply with beta flight and the sliders. It only takes one slider adjustment and it all ties into the key relationships, which I'll make a link to the card, the upper right, whichever way that is, for you to check that out, that we talk about key relationships between the PID terms and then how that all bakes together with the sliders. We're also gonna show how Betaflight 4.3 is really making me like my analog quads once again, uh, just for some of the new stuff that's in the OSD. So the first thing we need to do is a quick review of what is prop wash. So I'm going to show a quick flight video here on a lower PID gains uh, with this quad and we'll see what the prop wash is and talk about it. And then after that we're going to raise and adjust the one slider that you need to adjust for prop wash performance. And with those two things we'll, we'll see the performance increase and see the difference. And there's some additional factors that go into prop wash performance beyond this one slider too. There's there's some metrics on the balance between PD gain and things of that nature. And if you're interested in that, sign up to the Patreon. I have a video releasing at the same time this one is that goes kind of the next level, the insider's view on how you can really tweak out that prop wash with adjusting some additional settings as well. Let's get into what prop wash is and see how this quad performs on close to stock PIDs. Uh, and then we'll, we'll adjust our slider here and uh, see what we get. Okay, so let's check out Check out the prop wash performance on this bad boy. You can see some shake there. So sitting into it, trying to really draw it out here. You can definitely see that wobble. Yeah, see that wobble there? So that's what we want to make better. Ooh, it's quite a bit there. So you notice really sitting into it is what we can really make it occur. So let's bring it in and see what we need to adjust to fix that up. Actually, I don't want to, uh, I want to put this down. I don't want to put it down on the street, but I will. Engines disarmed. So with Betaflight 4.3, uh, what we can do is uh, adjust the OSD here. And so hopefully you can see this on the screen fairly well. And you can adjust with the new simplified sliders. So if I go into here and I go to simplified sliders, simplified tuning, I can see my sliders here. And hold on a second, I want to get that to a better screen here so you can see what's what. There you go. It's a little bit better, I guess. Um, so again, into the OSD, then we're going to go into Profiles, and then down to Simplified Sliders. And what we want to do is find this Master Multiplier. And really, when you want to adjust for Prop Wash, you're just going to go ahead and raise that up. So I would recommend raising up like two points at a time. So maybe 1.2, then try 1.4, 1.6, I've already taken this up to around 1.7, so I'm going to just jump there right away, but I would do two points at a time. I'm going to check motor heat and see how your prop wash performance increases. And that's it. What this master multiplier is going to do is it's going to raise all the PID gains up together. Um, mostly your D and P terms. It also is bringing up I and feed forward all together. And that will increase your, or reduce your amount of prop wash, increase your prop wash performance, however you want to say it. So it's just that simple. Uh, and the best way to do it is through that method it, so you're not messing anything up. If you just go ahead and up your D gains or up your P gains, you're gonna mess up other things like your PD balance and, and so on and so forth. So we don't want to mess anything else up while we're doing this. So I'm gonna go down here and hit apply tuning, right click on that. We'll go back into here, double check. Yep, master multiplier is still set. I'm gonna go back uh, just to double check it, hit apply tuning. 
and then we're going to go to uh, back up the screen here and then we're going to go hit hit save and exit now if you're on beta flight 4.2 what you would do here is just this master multiplier slider here you don't have osd uh, sliders so you'd have to plug into the configurator or the app on your phone but again you still have the same master multiplier that you can adjust the other one in 4.2 you can tweak out is just this PND gain slider that does most of it, but that does mess up your P to I balance. So I would still recommend the master if you just want to impact prop loss performance. If you're on other firmware like KISS, INAV, EMU Flight, Falco X, it all becomes kind of complicated. You have to take the PID gains and divide the numbers out. You have to get the ratios between different PID gains, like the ratio between P and D and the ratio between P and I. And as you move the gains up, hold those ratios. So six divided by 30, whatever that ratio is, you'd hold that. So as you move the D gain up, you'd move the P gain up proportionally to that. And then again, you'd move the I gain up proportionally to the ratio between these two. Um, so as the P gain goes up, then whatever the ratio between the P and the I was, you'd move that up as well. So it's kind of complicated uh, without a slider. Uh, probably would use an Excel spreadsheet or something of that nature to type all the stuff in because then it's the role pitching the all access all independently. So you can kind of see where the values are in the sliders. We can just move that thing up and it takes care of all that math for you. All right, so with that, and now since we're beeping, let's check out the performance now. Engines on. All right, so with a fresh pack, let's see what we got. So it's not totally gone. But it's better. You can just see a little bit less shake, a little bit less wobble. Got a little close there. It's a little hard on these because I notice when I do this, if I get less prop wash, I just throw it harder into it until I get it. So let me try a little bit softer so yeah that's it master multiplier sliders for the win um, makes it very simple to adjust your pids and just get one intended result so for example stability and prop wash performance you want to be adjusting your master multiplier bring this in so yeah with sliders it's just that simple you just for prop wash that master multiplier is your friend you move that it will adjust all the pids up and down for you if you don't know all that much about pids don't worry about it just use your master move it up uh, for wind same thing uh, basically the master multiplier is going to take care of you for any outside influences if you have outside influences from wind from prop wash Moving that master multiplier is going to make your quad respond faster to those and more stern and faster response. Uh, do check your motor temps as you're going up and down. Uh, you may get to a spot where you'll start to get trilling oscillations if you move the master multiplier up too far and you honestly you've known you've gone too far at that point. Uh, if you do want to take it any farther than that, you really got to be sensitive to your motor temps and you could theoretically reduce your amount of filtering and that will make the trills go away at that same level. But uh, yeah, it, it's getting more than meets the eye on that. So 
it's, it's kind of counterintuitive, but reducing your filtering sets the trilling oscillation point actually higher uh, for your D-term oscillation. It doesn't lower it, it actually makes it higher. So uh, then you can push your PIDs up some more, but you have to have a fairly clean quad for that. Again, if you're interested in taking it to the next level for some other things that you can change to increase your prop wash or performance or decrease the amount of prop wash you see, check out the Patreon. I'm gonna have a Patreon video releasing right now that talks about another slider you can adjust to increase the performance on your rig uh, so you can enjoy that golden hour just a little bit more. But outside of that, thanks everybody for your time. I hope this helps.